In this video, I have explained how to see the Farfit reverts in HFSS software. Here, I have simulated a patch antenna which works around 2.4 GHz. To see Farfit results, at the first step, we should define a radiation sphere for each result. So, I do right click and radiation from navigation tree. Then I select insert bar field theta and then infinite sphere. Here I am going to define three different radiation setups. The first one is E plane. To do this I put both a start and a stop point of V parameter equal to zero. Note that, in this case, a step size is not important. For theta parameter, I put a start point equal to minus 180 degrees and a stop point equal to 180 degrees. And I put 5 degrees for a step size. Similarly, I define each plane by putting both a start and a stop points of phi parameter equal to 90 degrees. For theta parameter, I use the same setting as I used for E plane. To see 3D pattern, I define another radiation sphere. So I put a start and a stop point for both phi and theta parameters equal to minus 180 and 180 degrees respectively. Until now, we have defined the required spaces to see the results. No, to plot these results, I do right click on results and then I select Farfit reports. Here, there are different options to see the results. For example, if I select rectangular plot, we can see 2D patterns in Cartesian coordination. We can select one of the radiation spaces we have defined in previous step from geometry palette. In the next step, to plot the 2D patterns in polar coordination, I can use radiation pattern. Here I have drawn both E plane and H plane. The last question is how to plot three-dimensional polar radiation pattern. To do this, we can use 3D polar plot. Then I put geometry and 3D sphere. So, this is 3D radiation pattern for our simulated antenna. I hope you to enjoy this video. In the next video, I am going to explain how to see E field and H field of this antenna. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel to support me. Thank you.